Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another part of my Borderlands 3 walkthrough. Thank you all for checking out this video, it does mean a lot. At the start here, if I can just uh, ask if you could leave a like, hit the comment section below, maybe hit that subscribe and bell icon just to stay up to date with the walkthrough, that would be perfect. Okay, so... In the last video, what happened? Well, there was kind of like a fake-out ending. We cornered Troy, defeat him, then there was this sort of uh, to be continued in Borderlands 4, then it went 4 3 2, 1, and then carried on. So it wasn't quite the ending that I had in mind or expected, and there is at least, I'd say, two quests to go, because I checked the trophies, and there's two locked quests, like locked trophies, where the um, trophy quest, uh, yeah, trophies for main quests are. So yeah, there's about two main quests to go, at the very least. And we are going to a new planet, which they surprisingly were able to keep pretty well hidden going into the game. Like, I only thought there was going to be four, but nope, there's five. There is Necrophea. Wait, what? No, that's not right. Necrotophea. Yeah, there you go. Get down there, Vault Hunter. Find Typhon de Leon. Drop pods all set. You be careful down there. Oh, cool. I've been in the drop pod for a while. Let's do this. And I'm somewhat kitted out with level accurate weaponry. Like, I've got level 30 to level yeah, 31 <laughs> weaponry, so that's not too bad. I believe this is this quest is level 32. 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. I'm still at the correct level, more or less. And I should be level 32 by the end of this video if I complete this quest. The first Vault Hunter. So this is the guy who basically came across vaults well, or something. Did right by Maya and killed that bastard troll. But this ain't the end of the adventure, amigo. I know I haven't always spoken kindly of Pandora, but it's still my home. We gotta save it. Pandora and the rest of the universe, you crazy woman. Oh man, I got 196. Like some of these I can get. Some of them I'm just a little. Well, that's shit. Eh, no. Couldn't buy that anyway. No. Nope. Not it. Oh, I can do that. I can buy that one. But, no. Or do I? Let me compare it to... Any of the... Do I have any? No, I don't have many. Oh, but compare it to this one. This is the one I got equipped. Do it. Never mind. If you up in my grill, you better buy something. Yeah, keep your britches on. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the one I got, actually. Not much else here to get, I think. Ah, room decoration. What's this? Bandit tire. The uh, Pondora corn, whatever. Troy graffiti. Tarine graffiti. Skag skull. Okay, let me get the tire. That one, that one, that one. That one. That one. That one. No, I've spent all my precious iridium on crap. 
I don't care. If anything, it'll make my room look all the better. Now then, where am I? Uh, gotta go to the drop pod. Oh, look, there it is. Wow, Desolation's Edge. That's not encouraging in the slightest, is it? Yo, buddy, we need to go to a planet. It's called Necrotophea, and the place on it is called Desolation's Edge. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. No idea what I'm going to expect here. I'm going to expect those weird, like, pixie monster things with wings to get all up in my grill, and that's about it. That's all I'm expecting so far. Pixie monster things, Iridians, or whatever they're called, Guardians. What do Iridians look like? Have we actually seen Iridians? Or are the Guardians Iridians? Or are the Guardians just things created by the Iridians? So many questions. Mm, not enough answers. Tracking Typhon to Leon's echo frequency and sending the coordinates to you. This is all quite overwhelming. First Pandora was a vault the entire time, now we've located the Iridian homeworld, and you are about to meet Typhon de Leon in the flesh. If you'll excuse me, I must take a power nap in my Saurian. Okay, so what am I doing here, exactly? Malawan's in the neighborhood, Lilith. Dead. It wasn't me. Yet. How could Malawan have known about Necrotophea? Stay sharp, killer. God, Queen Tyrene. Probably. This can't be how you saw this going. That's my bet. Oh my god, I love this gun so much. My, I mean, only if only I could import this gun into every other game I played. Total War, Napoleon, Napoleonic era, whatever. Yep, done. Total War, Rome. Yeah, couple of Roman centurions walking around with this gun. I'd win. Was that it? Can I go now? Oh, cool, I can climb over them. Let me go back. No, I want to go back. Ah. Oh. oh, well, I got my answer, I guess. So, let's go see Typhon de Leon. The man, the myth, the legend. Did the, the Iridian off themselves? Because I probably would if I lived on this shit all of the planet. Open your bloody eyes! Oh, get away from me, you bastards. My god, I hate the wildlife on this game so much. In contrast to this gun, which I love so much. Alright, one one left. Where is it? Ah, oh, of course it flies. Thank you, Ellie. Let's do it. Woo! A catchy ride on the legendary planet of Necrotophea. How about that? Now you can ride to Mr. De Leon in style. Welcome to the catchy ride. Catch a ride. Refreshed. 
You know, Typhon de Leon was the reason I became an Iridian researcher. If anyone knows how to save the universe, it's him. This is a lot of build-up for this guy. I doubt it's gonna last. about the destroyer being imprisoned inside Pandora. That was their goal all along. Should Tyrene leech the destroyer? Well, you are what you eat. Now that's an apt term for these guys. You are what you eat. Yeah, I suppose if you eat a destroyer and you can use its power and siphon its abilities, you become a destroyer. Now, Typhon, where are you? Bolt Hunter, over here. I'm ecstatic to see you. Typhon de Leon is waiting for you. Please, enter. Uh, enter the rock? Ah. I am Grouse, primary steward to Typhon de Leon. Because my counterpart is inferior in every way, De Leon has charged me with greeting you. So, greetings. I tell you to cheer up, but honestly, it seems like this might be the most cheerful you get. He seems perfectly happy for a droid. Considering he's lived on this planet for who knows how long. Hey, Vault Hunter, I'm Sparrow. Typhon asked me to show you around. Sparrow, what the hell? Typhon says the universe is in danger. We don't have time for a tour. Go to hell, Grouse. Tour time! FYI, I did all the interior decorating. Nice, right? Just because... What took you so long, Vault Hunter? We got a universe to save! Wow! You were expecting someone less handsome? Yeah, I was kind of expecting that, actually. Glad somewhere. You made it. Bet it was a slap. Like the thought had occurred to me. For making the trip. Wow. Gun. Gun gun. Gun gun gun. Gun. Well, it runs on iridium. So if you got some, I'm always happy to make you a gun or two. But right now, I gotta show you something. This way. Man, why did hey, I spend all that already? Take the vault hunter to the machine. Don't let anyone inside, Malawan or otherwise. Now's our chance to prove our worth. Won't matter. It's the end of the universe. This laser whip's been handy. Helps me keep up in my sundown years. Plus, whips are great. Lasers too. Fair play. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't just walk down like a regular person. Iridians called it the Great Vault or something. A long time ago, they crammed an interdimensional monstrosity in there called the Destroyer. Wasn't easy, but they did it. The Iridians sacrificed their whole civilization to lock that thing away. But they were smart, those aliens. The Iridians had a backup plan, just in case someone was Meshuggah enough to release the Destroyer. If that happens, well, they named it the Destroyer for a reason. Behind this door is an ancient Iridian astrokinetic vault powered phase engine something rather. I just call it the machine. Pretty nifty. And the colors. Those Iridians knew how to make an entrance, right? This was the machine that locked away the destroyer the first time. And it could do it again too. But we need four vault keys to get in. You already got three of them, right? You called it, boyo. Place Promethea, Eden 6, and Pandora. Which one's missing? Oh, that's, yeah. The. What is it called? Anthenus? Anthiorus, whatever. So, that is. Eden 6. No paradise. And that is. Promethea! I found the first vault there, you know. And this one is. There's one last key, and I know where it is. Heads up, though. It's kind of a schlep. And it won't be easy. Yeah, but I'm sure you're up for it. You're a Vault Hunter, like me. I'm the house Vault Hunter. You're gonna need it. Now I want to set up a buttload of bases between us and the Vault. This is exactly why I tried to keep Negra the Fail's secret in the first place. But I guess that bird's out of its cage. You gotta get the last key. I hid it near the Vault. There's a bridge that leads to the vault side. Head there, and good luck with Malawan. 
footsteps of giants. Okay, let's do this. Kind of guessed there was going to be something schleppy gonna come my way. I sort of knew it was going to be this somehow. How do I get out of here? I go back the way I came, I assume. Unless there's a fast travel point that I saw. Now then. Okay. It's over there. It's not too bad. I thought I'd have to travel a bit further than that. Now then. Go back here. Through the mystical wall. I'll bet when you saw me, you said to yourself, that's the first Vault Hunter? This guy? Ha! People have been underestimating me my whole life. But like I always say, heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Anyway, keep heading towards the bridge. I'm gonna check in with your people and let them know what's up. Hey, just got a rambling message from Typha de Leon. Something about a machine and another vault key. Seems to like you. Do us proud, killer. So, this is the right area, yeah? Alright, let's do this. We have to fight our way through a bunch of... What the hell? There you go. I have to fight my way through a bunch of Malawan. Oh, Malawan. I'm kind of surprised that company is still going. God knows it shouldn't be. I've killed thousands. SOB who killed my little brother Samuel on Athenus. Well, Tyrene Calypso said you'd show up sooner or later. I taught Sammy how to fight. You taught him how to die. Now I'm gonna teach you how, how to die. Just, just to be clear. Tron! Another Tron! Why, that brings me back. Good time. Great, so I'm gonna wipe out the entire generation of a family. Let's do it. Come on! Oh my god, I've only got 12 rounds left. No! Aww. I need ammo. I need ammo, stat. That'll do. Oh, come on. Look with me. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. And I can't run? Kill this guy before. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm not. Here we am. All right, let me spend this point. Hopefully, I can spend it on something nice. No. Oh, one more point too. Okay, fair enough. Gun damage. Current effect is twelve percent. Alright, yeah, let's do it. I'll have one. Now what's this? Whenever the clone takes damage, Zane's shield is restored by a portion of that damage. And, uh... Enemies are more likely to target the clone for a few seconds after it is summoned. Alright, cool.
he is so going down. Boom. Any more bits of ammo I can collect when I'm here. Ah well, no matter. Ooh, there's more crates up here that might possibly answer my question. Yeah, boy. No ammo for the SMG, but I got ammo for other things. Blast array, bitch. Oh, you're going down. Very, very slowly, but you are going down. That is, of course, until I run out of ammo. And then look like an absolute moron. Oh, for God's sakes. This isn't looking good. Oh my god, that thing. Okay, so this is doing a decent amount of damage, just about 100 per hit. So if I just keep firing at him, it should be okay. He's new. I haven't seen him before. Or I might have. It's been a while since I've fought Malawan. Oh, I do like this gun. I really did underestimate it when Hamlock gave it to me. But, yeah. It's good. It's even got a little bayonet on the front of it. There are a lot of Malawans here. Let's Better dance, bitch. You know, for someone whose initial message was something like the universe is about to end, Typhon really does seem rather relaxed, doesn't he? Like laid back. He's like, yeah, you know, Malawans, you, know, you better get rid of them guys, you know. Target 
Yeah, you hear the little man. Take that, you putzes. Wait, these are the elites? These guys? I'm assuming this Commander Tront guy is going to be very easy to kill. Unless this is tricking me into a false sense of security. In which case, he's going to be very bad and very evil and very hard to kill. And very annoying. Yeah, thanks, Typhoon. There you go. Now blast that generator, Vault Hunter. <coughs> All right. The bridge to Vault Side is just ahead. Ooh. Come to think of it, though, I've never actually thought about that. But when did the whole Vault Hunter thing start in this universe? They don't really explain that. Like Vault. No, of course it's not. Oh, yeah, well, was I? Oh, right, yeah. Um, Okay, I completely forgot what I was talking about, so never mind. Hey, Vault Hunter! Bone says Pandora's shaking like an ice skate with fever dreams. No word from Tyrene, but we got your back, which is my preferred view of you, as you know. So, Typhon, may I call you Typhon? Is there a Mrs. De Leon? Yeah, I'll do my best. I will be sure to keep an eye on his hair. To see if I can't cut off a lock at some point. Now then, use Atlas. Nope. Nah. -uh. Nope. Nada. Okay, I got nothing. I really don't want to fight these guys, because they're very overpowered. Sort of, maybe. I wouldn't really know until I shoot at them. There's a waste of ammo. 
so I'm just gonna run like hell. <clears throat> oh crap. Guys, can't we just talk this through? Oh, it's open. Nice. I will leave my digi-clone here to keep these guys occupied. And now it's on to the vault. His name is Daniel Trant, but he sounds kind of like Nicolas Cage or a Nicolas Cage impersonator. Okay, this isn't going too badly. That was okay, I can take it all back. I take it all back. Oh, it's going horribly. Oh horribly. Oh, I was so close to Okay, that didn't go anywhere near in my favour. So, instead of going back and redoing anything, I am going to carry on. I am not going to bother grindy grinding grindison my way back. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let me do this. Let me check. First of all, let me check the log. Okay, his level. No, it's level 32. It's my level. Eat fire, bitch. Yeah, this isn't looking good for me, is it? Come on, me and Digi me, we can do it. We can take that down, General Tront. We can wipe out this family. Unless he's got a third brother. Well, not unless he's got a third brother. Unless there is a third brother. I assume if I get through his shield, the uh, natural health bar wouldn't be too hard to get through. I assume. Ah! 
No, you son of a bitch. I got cocky, that's my fault. But no, it is naturally not that hard to go through his health bar. Who would have thought? Ah, you son of a bitch. Let's try that again. Okay, so I can get do it. It's I can I can do it. It's just getting through his shield. That's the main problem. That's the main challenge. Because his health isn't hard. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to die now. Come on. I just started. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, that's what he that's what he's doing. Oh, again. I'm getting flashbacks. And traumatic flashbacks are over for now. Yes, burn, burn, you bastard. Make me restart, will ya? Kill one of me, will ya? Kill my digiclone, will ya? Make me expend all of this SMG ammo, will ya? Well, I am going to call it quits here because we are about to enter a vault and they usually tend to take quite a while to, well, do, because of the vault monster. So I'll do the vault monster in the next video. For now, though, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed the commentary. 
If you could leave a like, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe and bell icon just to keep up to date with this walkthrough and the other walkthroughs that I'm going to be releasing as well. And check out the end screen for other videos on my channel that you might be interested in. For now though, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, it does mean a lot, and I look forward to hearing from you next time. Until then though, take care.